Hey all and welcome back to Wonderlands Gamers. In today's video we're going over another 5 must have legendaries to have at level 40 Chaos 20. If they work really well at Chaos 20 they are discussed in at base level 40. Also for any character, any build for both bossing and mobbing situations all included. First up we have the Rogue Imp of the Alarm. Now the prefixes and suffixes of all of these items can change a little bit which then changes the weapon itself but this one is a fire locked weapon only and it is by Skulldogger the new COV brand aka the longer you shoot it it eventually heats up then will break and you'll have to repair it and that is its reload animation. Now this one is really good in both bossing and mobbing situations and I honestly think it's the best AR in the game right now at least out of the ones I've tried I might be missing one or two but it is that good and I personally think it's one of the best items in the game full stop if it didn't have its huge negative I think it would be up there with the liquid cooling the damage output is there for some reason they made it have to reload every four to five seconds which is kind of painful they did give it a bonus because you have to deal with that it does send out three racks from the gun which home into nearby enemies dealing damage to them so it's kind of having a uh, rack attack flak back again which is kind of cool i think it's just a little too much reloading you know maybe maybe every six to seven seconds would be a little bit more bearable so try get some reload buffs on your build to maybe use this as your main one uh, does really well though anyway bossing and mobbing you do a really good amount of damage output i'd say mobbing is probably where it shines because you do so much damage you take out a whole enemy and in between running to the next one you've already reloaded sending some racks out to maybe finish off a couple more and you don't really notice it where in bossing situations i did have to reload i think four times in the daryl fight or Daryl drill the big slug guy i always forget his name but that one i had to reload four separate times where the gun definitely has the damage output to one phase his entire health bar in one from the shadows if i didn't have to stand there looking at him while i'm reloading four separate times the red text reads it's a great day for an incineration which i don't know the reference for i tried to find it out but it was leaving some very sus um google search histories so if you guys do know let me know in the comment section down below as for the drop spot the dedicated hasn't been found yet there are a few items that are just in the world drop system um so that might be one of these i have got tons of these from the end of the chaos chamber though like this might be the most drop weapon i have in the entire game i'd say 10 15 bare minimum i've seen unfortunately still no volatile but tons of chaotics and base level legendaries Otherwise, you can get them from any boss because it's in the world drop system. Next up, we have the Goblin Pickaxe. Again, prefixes, suffixes can change. Also changed in the weapon a little bit. But this one is probably one of the coolest melee weapons in the game right now. It's made by Kaleev. And it can come in all elements, I believe. I've at least seen four of them. And I would assume why leave off Dark Matter if you're going to have the rest. So I assume you can come in all elements, including non-elemental like this one. I personally use this on my Stabomancer Cross Spore Warden gun build. So it's not a melee focused build because this one is on the lower end of damage output for melee weapons, but it has really, really good passives. Being, when you melee attack an enemy, they spawn gold. If the Fate Maker picks up gold, doesn't necessarily have to be dropped from that enemy that you meleeed. If you pick up gold anywhere on the floor, it also counts. It increases your movement speed, spell cooldown rate, and action skill cooldown rate by 6% for 5 seconds. And you can stack that up to 5 times, so maximum increase 30% movement speed which is really good particularly for stabomancer because the faster you're moving increases your damage and then also action skill cooldown and spell cooldown is just good for everyone all around then at the bottom you can roll a random passive that rolls on any of the melee weapons my personal favorite is melee attack still 10 percent of all non-melee damage dealt over the last 10 seconds which is really really good for gun builds because if you just go around taking a few enemies out with your weapons dink the last guy with your melee weapon and you're going to do a ton of extra damage compared to the usual pretty low base damage of this melee weapon now just to save you guys some time real quick if you're looking at this weapon like oh my god if i get this weapon i can just get unlimited money and buy all the s2s in the game in like an hour yeah it doesn't quite work like that unfortunately whenever you melee an enemy they only drop one gold so you're going to be stood at the target range for a very very long time before you afford any of the s2s in this game the red text for this one is time is money friend and i believe the entire weapon is a wow reference but also that red text is probably a reference to four separate movies and probably every other person's dad watching this at some point has said that line as for obtaining this beautiful weapon i do actually know the dedicated drop and it is pigwood which is the boss at the end of the obelisk in mount craw which is a little bit of a slow farm so if you don't want to deal with that it also does drop from the world drop system meaning you can get it from any boss pretty frequently i've seen quite a few of these and then also you can get it at the end of the chaos chamber of course if you just want to farm the melee weapons bunny at the end of that our next legendary is actually a shield slash ward and yes the inspect item is very bugged and very very zoomed in but alas we move uh it's called the cursed whip and the prefixes suffixes again of course can change slightly changing the weapon slash the shield itself 
It is a low capacity shield at only 1700 at a base level 40 um, version. The Chaotic and the Volatile will probably have high capacity, I think. But you actually want this one to break. You don't want your shield to be up because the passive is World Ward is depleted, gain 17% damage reduction, which is nice when you intentionally break your shield, and gain 100% increased damage dealt to nearby enemies. That is kind of insane. You don't get that many buffs from an individual item or enchantment or passive of any kind in this game, and 100% extra damage dealt is huge. It also scales up the closer you are to enemies, so if you're a little further away and the shield breaks, you're still going to be doing a decent amount of amp damage, but if you're right up in their face, you're doing a ton of extra to all damage sources, by the way. It could be melee, spells, gun damage, all of it. I haven't farmed too many of these myself yet, but the one that I do have has a 7.6 um, second recharge delay, which is pretty lengthy for a shield, which is nice because you're going to have that bonus up for even longer before it tries to recharge itself and then you try and break it again for the increased damage. I also have one passive on mine, which is movement speed. I'm sure you can roll many different things on that. And usually when you get a chaotic, it adds an extra passive that you can roll on the item as well. The red text for this one is kill him. He's not that important anyways, which I assume is a movie reference. I couldn't find it, but if you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. Also one other bonus, maybe negative, I'm not sure of this shield is it talks to you not in an annoying way just like random comments every once in a while and it's actually voiced by apparently pretty famous voice actors which i personally didn't know but apparently they're well known so you can check them out if you want and as for obtaining this thing if you guys would like to find the dedicated drop source it actually has a pretty decent boss being ribula the first boss in the entire game so if you head back to snoring valley run all the way to the boss fight it's a very long hike and then once you get there, there will be a relatively closer new station that you can spawn at each time, but it is still a pretty decent hike compared to the usual boss fight uh, to get back to Ribula himself. Otherwise, you can get it from the world drop system. You can get it from the bunnies at the end of the Chaos Chamber. From my experience, not that often, though. It's a pretty rare one. I've only probably seen it twice, maybe. Fourth on our list today is Lil K's Bread Slicer. This thing has a bunch of different prefixes and suffixes and also comes in all elemental types, including non-elemental. This thing is hilarious. It's literally called the Bread Slicer. It has bread on the actual weapon skin itself. It has a secondary firing mode that shoots actual breadsticks. Yes, actual breadsticks. That obviously being a little bit of a gimmick. It's not the strongest uh, secondary firing mode I've ever seen. But the uh, primary firing mode shoots three projectiles and they are saw blades which roll along the ground. They go flying through the air. They split off so... Not the most accurate thing at range, but if you're nice and close, it does a decent amount of damage. And because you can get all elemental types, which a lot of the weapons that I have at least made the list so far, and the most of the weapons that I'm using at the moment, are elemental locks. So it's really nice having the choice for once in a good weapon. And also because of that, it's really good in pretty much any mobbing bossing situation because it's not locked to an elemental type. I'd say the only reason you don't want to use this is at range or if any enemy is particularly agile. Like if something's dodging around a bunch and it's like a small human enemy, it's pretty hard to hit with something that shoots three saw blades and rolls along the ground and you kind of got to love it and stuff like that. But if you can get up nice and close or it's a big target like uh, Drill, that's his name, Drill, you can absolutely melt it with this thing. The red text for the bread slicer reads, this seems impractical, which I don't know the actual reference for. Again, I tried to find out, couldn't find out. If you guys already know, let me know down below. But it seems very relevant for this weapon because there's so many times where you just empty the whole mag and then the enemy just dives out of the way of all of the blades. So pretty accurate. As for obtaining yourself a bread launch, you guys can get this from the world drop system. So any boss you guys would like to farm will drop it eventually or you can get it in the chaos chamber from my experience pretty frequently. Unfortunately, the community doesn't know what the dedicated drop is for this one yet. And the fifth and final legendary today is the Reign of Arrows Black Powder slash Jacob's Shotgun. This was actually highly requested to be included in the previous video for next time so here it is uh you guys know the drill prefixes and suffixes can change this one is only a non-elemental weapon and has a really cool firing pattern uh, or mode i guess whenever you're holding this thing it'll have a cool pattern on the ground and it'll show where all of these shots will land because when you fire it it shoots out a bunch of arrows and then rains fire on that spot just doing an absolute ton of damage taking out a bunch of enemies and if you can get them to all kind of uh pull into that area like maybe running through a doorway just go ham empty shot after shot um, the max size is six but it also consumes six shots per time you pull the trigger so you do want to have some mag size uh, bonuses if you can so you can at least pull it uh twice but the reload time is pretty quick at just 1.2 seconds at base um so you can just fire it and reload really quickly this thing is absolutely insane on the lower levels and then when you get to chaos 20 still holds its own very very well the only reason that it isn't my favorite weapon is the fact that i can down myself 
with the with the gun uh, all the time. So when you run into the arrows that are raining fire, yeah, they deal damage to you and will instantly destroy you because you don't have that much health in this game. Uh, so you kind of have to learn how to shoot it so that you won't instantly run into it. Which, when you're Sabermancer and running at four times the speed of a, the character usually runs at, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to learn. Uh, but it is really good in bossing and mobbing if you can get around that, because uh, it just does so much damage. Uh, the only other problem is it lobs, like, it only has a certain um, range, I guess. Like, you can't lob all the way to the other side of the room. Uh, it is only, like, you know, three, four meters in front of you or whatever it is. Uh, so those are probably the only two negatives, but a really cool shotgun would highly recommend checking out. And the red text for this one reads from a lacerated sky, which apparently is a reference to a Slayer song called Raining Blood, if you guys have heard that one before. Also, obtaining this one, it doesn't actually have a dedicated drop like a regular boss. It also does a drop in the world drop system, apparently is dedicated to the Chaos Chamber itself. You can get it from the Chaos Chamber mini bosses, but there is a lot of those and apparently a lot of weapons, so... A little bit difficult. Instead, would recommend just going the bunnies at the end of the Chaos Chamber, or you could also get it from the chest at the end of the Chaos Chamber. And that's another five Legos you guys need at Chaos 20. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash subscribe. Apparently 90% of viewers aren't subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, it's free and I would much appreciate. We also have a Twitch to stream to every night just after I post my videos, and we also have a Discord, both linked down below if you want to check them out. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Catch you guys in the next video and our live stream. Till then, adios.